and these are the mistakes that veterans make when it comes to list building. In fact, you know, a core part of our private client service is, you know, we're about to actually do a, a new service where I'm so sick, I've got to say, I'm so sick of... Um, People stuffing this up, stuffing up list building. It's so vital. If you've got a list of people who are excited for your product, you can do experiments. You can reach out. You can figure out what their pain points are. You can ask your market. You've got so many, so many options, yet people don't do it and they don't list build. Getting that email is just absolutely vital. You don't have a business if you don't have that email. And so what I want to talk about in my newly created series here, business, Biggest Mistakes series, I want to talk about the biggest mistakes people make in list building. And the first thing that they do is they try to go too broad. They don't use a single tight target market. So what do I mean by this? So I mentioned golf before. Now, if I'm trying to create an opt-in page that's something that will attract all golfers, um, well, I'm going to have to be super broad. But remember, my problem with golf was putting. So if I am you know, taking, say, an ad out on a series of YouTube videos where people show how to solve putting problems, wouldn't it make sense to send them to an opt-in page which is purely designed around here are six techniques you can use to improve your putting the next time you go out? As opposed to just trying to say, hey, improve your golf. Which one are you more likely to opt into that you want to be a part of? Which one speaks to you more directly? And this to me, this not address, because what's the cost of an opt-in page. You know, we use Market Pro Max, for example. And that means that literally in seconds, I can have a world-class, fully tested opt-in page up and running in a second. Literally. Just a click of a button and it's done. So it doesn't make any sense to try have these catch-all opt-in pages where you've got one page and you're trying to direct all sorts of different traffic into that opt-in page. People make this mistake all the time. In an ideal world, in an ideal world, you know, down the track, you potentially have hundreds of opt-in pages, all micro-targeted to the specific pain points of the specific little single target markets inside your big market. So for somebody with putting problems, there's a report to solve putting. For somebody who's got driving problems, there's a report to solve driving. And again, people think, oh, Ed, how much work is that? You know, and this is why we're doing this done for you service, because honestly, once you understand how it's actually done and you learn the right processes, you can do it so much more easily because it doesn't have to be we're not talking 120 page reports here think about it if you get your problem solved like if it solves a problem that you've just had for ages do you care whether that was one five minute video or isn't it worthy enough like you actually want you know 30 videos of an hour each to feel like you know it, you put in the effort to solve your problem or do you just want to solve your problem you just want to solve your problem. And here's the problem. <laughs> I'm saying problem a hell of a lot. To figure out pains, gains, and jobs to be done, to make the most effective opt-in page, one that, you know, where you're getting 50 to 75% of people opting in, you have to hit them right between the eyes, solving their biggest pain. And here's the problem. If I go broad, if I go to the market that is golf, there's millions of pain points. There's no one particular pain point in golf. There's stacks. Which one do I do? I don't know. It's a crapshoot. And then I'm spending massive amounts of money. And, you know, hands up. Who's got 100 grand to spend on, um, you know, their ads each month? If you do, call me. Most of us don't. Our superpower, our advantage is to be able to speak very directly to our market. This is how using a thousand true fans and we can, without having to outspend all the big corporates and all the, you know, the massive 
people who are buying stacks and stacks of traffic and you know and paying 20 30 dollars a keyword on google this is how we beat them we beat them because we understand the pains gains and jobs to be done and we go small because here's the thing once you've done one for the putting market you can do one for the driving market. You know, the first classic example of this, of course, was Frank Kern's dog training uh, approach, which he which is over a decade now. But, you know, and it seems stupid now, but at the time it was revolutionary. So rather than offering one product, which was on, you know, how to train your dog, it was simply, his distinction was, he would create an individual page, an individual opt-in about how to train your Chihuahua, how to train your Sheltie, how to train your Doberman. You see where I'm going. Now, of course, the content of the report, the vast majority of the content of the report was exactly the same because how you train a dog is how you train a dog. But again, if I've got a Shetland Sheepdog and I want to train a Shetland Sheepdog and I've got the choices of two products, one that is how to train your dog and one is how to train your Shetland Sheepdog with a photo of the Shetland Sheepdog, what are you going to do? It's obvious. Yeah, it seems obvious, but that is the massive mistake people are making with their opt-in pages. They're trying to be too broad. They're not focusing down on a single target market. And one of the reasons is is fear and laziness. Fear that it's going to take all this effort and energy. But the reality is, once you've got the formula in place, this is something that you can get pay somebody 10 bucks an hour to create 15 opt-in pages an hour. You know, it's not a big deal, right? It's easy. It's There's never been a better time to be able to do this. The technology is there. The systems are there. The services are there. It's all about you understanding that particular market. So that's our first mistake that people make. Too broad, not a tight single target market. The next thing is the opt-in pages aren't focused. We're so desperate to try and get everybody, we end up getting nobody because we're not focused enough. And this is, I've said this a number of times already, and let me just, again, super emphasize it. The single biggest pain point. That is what your opt-in for your particular, so we've narrowed down our market. Instead of going golfers, we're going for people who have problems putting. So now that we've got people, we know that people have problems putting, we can go straight to that pain point. So we know, you know, people want to stop three putting, you know, learn this crazy technique. And it doesn't even have to be, you know, think smart about this. You know, maybe you've discovered a technique that worked really well for you and you watched a YouTube video. You get exactly the same credo and you build your email list by referring to, here are four techniques that worked really well for me. Did you create the techniques? That's a single PDF with four links to four YouTube videos. Do people think, oh, I just got ripped off? Or are they excited to try these techniques and fix their putting? You don't have to build them. You can just point people into the right place because I, you know, as I want to ram through everybody's skulls, we don't have time. There's so much awesome stuff now on the internet. If you can save me time by pointing me to something which is absolutely fantastic, right? So it's it's just solves my issue immediately. You are going to get all the credibility of that. Right, you are going to get all the power of that. You don't have to come up with the concept. You just point me in the right spot. And never, ever, ever, of course, should you try to represent other people's stuff as your own. Don't do it. Give people credit. I do it all the time. I mentioned, uh, you know, fantastic new product, uh, po- product podcast from uh, Dean Jackson. You know, more cheese, less whiskers. I use his stuff all the time, and I point out that I use his stuff all the time. You know, because I, it's not about whether you came up with it or not, but by bringing it to somebody's attention, you can be way more effective. Technology stuff ups is our third problem. And this is a huge deal for a lot of you listening to this right now, right? The autoresponder, the uh, what else have we got? We've got the autoresponder. We've got, you know, the, getting the opt-in pages sorted out, linking the code between the autoresponder and uh, the opt-in page itself, you know, embedding those pages in the right websites or putting them in your magcast or scrivcast all of those things, right, are, are potential pain points for people, particularly when you're 
setting up your first uh, your, your first uh, funnels. Now, interestingly, and as I say, we're about to come out with this uh, very, very shortly, and maybe actually by the time you're listening to this, is that we're going to do, for people who just don't have the time but want us to design the funnel, we're actually going to build the entire funnel and provide all the technology for you uh, because we use our own stuff. So... It's a bit hard for me to say, hey, go grab this piece of technology or go grab this because, you know, we use our own stuff. So we thought, well, hey, let's just do it for people. Um, But again, completely understand where that is a particular issue. And of course, if the technology, if you get the stuff up with the technology, then of course nothing happens and you're not collecting those emails and we're not getting anywhere. The next thing that really, really stuffs people up is no stats, no measurement. They uh, they they don't measure, they don't figure it out, and that is a huge deal. So there are no stats um, if they're not measuring, if they're not collecting. That is a real big issue um, because if you're not measuring it, how can you manage it? How can you make it work? Right? There's no way that you can do this. And a lot of people set up opt-in pages and because they're afraid of the results, they don't check the results. They don't check the stats. They don't check the measurements. You know, it's huge, right? This is such a big problem. So if not measuring your opt-in funnels and understanding what your conversion rates are, how many people view the page versus how many op- people opt in, that is crazy. It is absolutely absolutely insane. Our final point here is no focus. And what I mean by no focus here is that honestly, people will work on any other part of their business than fix up their collection of emails. I see it time and time again. And I see this with big businesses that have you know been there for a while. I've seen this with Magcast with tens and tens of thousands of subscribers, and they just haven't collected emails at all, right? They because they just haven't even focused on it, and that is often the you know the absolute standard place where we're at. It's you know they just don't focus on the collection of email. You know, getting email. You know, there's I can't make this any clearer that is your job as somebody who's involved in marketing your job is to collect emails yeah because that is the single best most valuable way of talking to people and getting their availability right it's just the way it is so that is just absolutely crucial so with that those are the things that uh, I think are absolutely the most important when it comes to creating a funnel and figuring out how you do that. You've got to do it, right? And again, we if you people are sort of going, hey, opt-in, what are you talking about? Please go to challenge.co and enroll yourself in the challenge. It's completely free and you can understand what an opt-in is, what a funnel is, and how to go about designing one. And if you're interested in us doing it for you, stay tuned because we'll be uh, shooting out an email over the next couple of days uh, because we've created a new service to actually build it for you. And literally, I work with you to build it um, and design it, figure out what the pains, gains, jobs to be done are, design the product, the whole deal. So that's that's part of what we're doing. 